So there are a lot of quality things to come out of the UK. But above any of the accomplishments or anything that's come out of this country, our rappers are the thing we're most proud about. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at a few of the top rappers from the UK. So let's get into this. So the obvious contenders for best rapper in the UK would be people like Little T and MC Mental. <laughs> But I'm gonna leave them out of this one because as we all know they're the best like no one even competes with them So for this video I had to do a little bit of research to find the next best thing and what I found was was fucking incredible Like most of the rapping or MC videos just had either text in the background throughout the video like this one called sick old tune Don't know who by but the entire video just consists of the words fucking chav in the background And most of the ones without text in the backgrounds just have still images and most of them are of transit vans for some unknown reason Occasionally a few of them actually have a video to go along with the song, but it's very very rare that any of them are actually good. Like, there's one of a kid emceeing in Tesco. <laughs> Just absolute quality. But yeah, all of them videos that I just showed you are emceeing videos. And apparently that's different to rapping. Like someone told me the reason why emceeing is different to rapping is because you're not supposed to understand what the MC is saying. Which sounds pretty fucking stupid to me. But then again, it does explain why nobody under the fucking sun can understand what they're saying. So anyway, the first rap video we're going to be looking at in today's video is from the legend himself, Jam Dang. Now, if you don't know who Jam Dank is, basically he's been featured in a couple of my videos recently, and even though I wasn't really dissing him, he took offence to it. Well, I think it was about a week ago he posted a video calling me out. First of all, I want to say fuck Memulus, yeah? For mentioning me in his video, it wasn't even about five seconds long, innit? But man don't know what he's talking about playing his Xbox games, the league. Oh, that was fucking brutal. But anyway, the other day he actually posted a diss track for me, and it's simply called Jam Dank Memulus Diss. Like, he didn't even spell my name right. But yeah, anyway, let's just take a look at this diss. Yes! Major media, jam dank, you know who it is, listen. Inside. What the fuck is this spelling now? Mimi Loose? Like, come on, Major Media, decide what one it is. Memulus or Mimi Loose? You can't have both. Who does Memulus think that it is? Try to bear shit in his YouTube vids. My man's a myth, come off of this shit. Quiet if you don't get who's on a piff, and quiet if you don't get who's on a spliff. Okay, so I have no idea what he's going on about here. Something about me crying about a spliff. I'm not too sure where Jam Dank did his research about me, but he got all these facts spot on. I definitely cry if I don't get twos on the spliff. They're quiet if you don't get who's on a spliff. Or whatever the fuck that is. Took me 10 minutes. To write all this shit, then I realized that it wasn't even worth it. Oh, fucking hell, lads. It only took him 10 minutes to write them bars. Imagine what he could come up with in 15 minutes. Like, I don't even want to know. Talk about Mimi, let's talk about his mum. Talk about his birth, you get spots in the bum. Ah, oh, the classic mum and girlfriend diss. That's a good one, Jam Dank. Big up to you. You get vexed to punch your own mum. You'll punch my whole mum. To punch your own mum. Fucking hell, not half my mum. You'll punch my whole mum. Unbelievable. Get me, but Mimi, let to keep talking shit in his fucking videos. I ain't got time for all that bollocks. Hang on, Jam Dank. If you haven't got time for it, then why have you made a fucking diss track on me? Now, after watching this video, I was naturally a bit upset. But then one of my mates who knows who Jam Dank is showed me this video that he did maybe a couple years ago. Quite if you don't get who's on a piss, and he quite if you don't get who's on a spinner. He's a little skank in his first got nits. Took me 10 minutes to write all this shit, then I realized that it wasn't even worth it. Like, this diss track they wrote right here is pretty much identical to the one he made on me. Jam Dank, mate, I thought I was special, but obviously not, I guess. Okay, but anyway, after that video, I'm sure you're all hyped to see what other rapping talent Britain has to offer. Like, Jam Dank's just so good. How could anyone be better than him? Well, honestly, lads, I think I found a few people that are better than him. These people are the Kurzel Massive. And this song from them is a classic piece of British rap. Like, this is 10 years old. So let's just give this a listen. This is the Kurzel Man, them C-Mac, yeah, featuring little fucking Kev, yeah. Over there in our corner, it's our boy Ginger Joe, yeah, we don't fuck about. Oh, yeah, I can tell you lads don't fuck about. I mean, that look from Ginger Joe just screamed determination. Kick it, Kev. Got on the bus with me, they save us. Smoke the reefer in the corner. You know what? I take back what I said at the start of the video. I said that Little T and MC Mental were the best rappers in Britain. But I mean, Little Kev over here, he just blows them out of the water. Pimping. You know that fucking... Tell him, Joe, how the fuck yeah, it man. is, yeah? yeah? You gotta love how they had to get Ginger Joe to back them up on that one. And the way they turned the camera away from him before he's even finished speaking. Like, we need some justice for Ginger Joe over here. Now, I couldn't find the original version of this next video I'm gonna show you. But I found a re-upload that's called Gangster Rapper Kids in a Park. And it's actually incredible. So let's give it a watch. Oh, what an absolute bar. You gotta get all the girl girls with the big boobs. Pure poetry. La 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 la. You can tell this guy here knows it's a bad idea. He's just like, nah, I don't want to be fucking involved in this. I can tell that a few years down the line, some loser on the internet's going to make fun of this video. But anyway, after this bloke's finished rapping, his mate comes in with some lethal bars. Always making pee, chat shit, aim it on your fucking mum. 
Cheese. Bloody hell, mate. Couldn't think of anything more scary than this. You saying you're going to shoot my mum while standing on a fucking children's climbing frame. Yeah, that's a fucking gangster location. So anyway, after this kid throws out a few more casual threats while still standing on a children's climbing frame. Come to your end, watch niggas run. And if your edge flattered. His other mate comes back in to spit a bit more fire. I'm a dreamer. My dreams come true. I've got... Enough love for you. And that's pretty much what he raps about for the rest of the video. Well, I just love how his mate before was talking about, like, shooting people's mums and stuff. And then he just comes in saying how he loves someone. I mean, they're rapping about two totally different topics. But who am I to judge this absolute piece of art? So anyway, this next rapper's a familiar face on this channel. He's featured in a few of my videos before. If you don't know who this person is, then who even are you? It's Eldor. It's Eldor. And well, he's definitely one of the best rappers in the country. So let's just take a quick look at one of his warm-up videos. Remember, this is only a warm-up. So in this video, he isn't using all of his potential. So yeah, let's give this a listen. Don't stop that, yeah. yeah. This is how it goes. And that's the last line in the video you can actually understand. Like, throughout the video, it's just this. So anyway, I thought since we looked at Eldot, we might as well take a look at Smithy Boy. Like, this video I'm going to show you is one we haven't watched on the channel yet. I did do a video on Smithy Boy and the crew, but we didn't watch this one. So yeah, let's just get into this. Ah, uh, classic Smithy Boy. But throughout the video, he just tries to sound intimidating while wearing a school uniform. You know what? Like, honestly, it's, it's just impossible to sound intimidating while wearing a school uniform. It just can't be done. Fuck you, man. Okay, so anyway, guys, that's the end of today's video. As always, please don't send hate over to anyone featured in this video. It's just unneeded. So yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and smash that motherfucking like button. Baboon.